Hey ABCD Metro North family, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to sign a PDF document with Adobe Reader. Now it's going to be fun, you're going to love it. Well at least I think it's fun, then again I'm a nerd, right? But we're going to show you how to do it really quick and let's say the document is your performance review that you need to sign in, but maybe there's not a fillable field in that section for you to say type your name in. And if there's not, we're going to show you how to enter in a cursive signature and then we can go ahead and date it. All right. So now at the end of the video, if for example, the video's over and you're like, well, wait a minute, how do I, how do I get Adobe reader on my computer? How do I set it as the default stick around? And I'll show you how to do that after the, after the first part of the video is over. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, we're here at the PDF document that we want to sign. In this case, it's the performance review. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a cursive signature because as you can see here, right here under employee signature, there's nothing that we can fill out. And again, this is uh, there's a way that we can add a cursive signature and we're going to do that right now. But don't forget at the end of the video, stick around if you want to know how to download Adobe Reader DC and it's, it's really fast, really quick. And then how to make your computer open all PDF documents with Adobe Reader. I'll show you how to do that too. So where it says employee signature, you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, menu options up here but the one you're going to want looks like a little pen here and as you can see i'm going to hover it over and it says sign document by typing and drawing a signature so watch i'm going to click this okay and it just dropped the signature option down here we're going to say okay to that go ahead click it and it says you can add a signature or add initials so we're going to add a signature in this case so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to click that and it looks it offers you the ability to type your name in. Now let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and we'll just type my name. There we go. All right. Now, if you want to change the style, take a look over here. It says change style. Maybe you can find a, a cursive signature that's kind of more in line of, you know, what your signature may look like or what you're comfortable with. Um, this is usually how mine would look, but if you come down here, you can see it offers a whole bunch of options. And you can see just there's about four options. So I'm going to stick with the one that I just did, which is down here at the bottom. Okay. And we're going to come here and click apply. All right. We're just going to give it a second to think and look at this. This is, this is, uh, it just, it just put this here, uh, on the PDF and I'm moving it around with my mouse and all I have to do is bring it right here to employee signature. And with one click of the mouse button, the left mouse button, watch what happens. Okay. And now it's sitting here and it still offers you an option of what you want to do. Now you can make it bigger. You can make it smaller by clicking this, these two, uh, size indicators right here. And if you're not happy with it, you can always just, uh, hit the little, uh, trash can and you can start over. It's, you really can't, this, this is really, really easy and it makes it, uh, it kind of fun to do if you think, if you ask me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to click the mouse again and it's going to leave my signature there. And over here we can put in 12, 29, uh, 20. There we go. Okay. So look at that. You just signed this PDF. It was as easy as that. Now, if you want to come back over here, you can click it again get rid of that and we go back to sign. So say you're not happy with it. Let's go back and if you want to get rid of this signature, you see this little uh, indicator right here, we're just going to go ahead and click it and then you can start over. Okay. And you also have the option to draw too. If you feel like you're pretty good at drawing with a mouse, you can go ahead and drop your signature in here. Now, please don't judge. This is, this is me trying to draw my signature. I'm going to, at the type here, you can, you have the option to type and then to draw. Okay, so this is me drawing my, my signature. All right, wish me luck. Okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's not coming out perfect. All right, it's not coming out really great at all. <laughs> but it is me signing. There we go. And you can do that too. And then we hit apply. Give it a second, it's thinking. And there's my signature and we can put that right on the employee signature. All right. And again, just have to click off it 
you have these options to change the size or get rid of it and I'll just click off it. Okay. And we'll just uh, look at that one more time. In this case, if you come into sign, we can just get rid of that, add signature. And the third option is to add an image. So if you have a picture of your signature as like a little photo, like an image, if you will, like a JPEG, you can actually go ahead and grab that and add that onto the line. So again, um, it's as easy as typing your name, hitting apply, And dropping it right on the line and then you what you do is and before you send this back to your supervisor or your immediate manager you're gonna come over here to file save as and then you're gonna save it in your documents folder hit save and then open up an email and then attach that PDF so you can send that back to your supervisor so all right so that is the long and the short of it uh, I hope you thought it was fun and stick around for the second part of the video. If you're done with this, you're good. You know what you're doing with this. Great. But if you want to know how to get Adobe Reader onto your PC and actually make your PC use it to open up PDF documents, stick around and we'll do that right now. Thanks for watching. All right, thanks for sticking around. You want to know how to download and install Adobe Reader DC and how to put it on your uh, Windows operating system, specifically either Windows 8 or Windows 10, and have it open up PDF documents moving forward. So we're here at acrobat.adobe.com and you can see that we're going to download the reader. Okay. All right. And now it's going to offer you a whole bunch of stuff. You don't need it. So um, we're going to go ahead and uncheck these because it's just going to fill up your computer with a lot of what I call bloatware. Um, and we're going to go ahead now and we will say, now we uncheck those. We're going to download Adobe Ac Acrobat. And for editing purposes, you may see the video skip ahead a little bit because these things do take time. Okay, the download process is started. And after that, it'll start installing. Okay, we finished downloading and installing Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. So we're going to go hit finish. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and tell your computer to use this application moving forward to open up any PDF documents. All right, so we're going to hit finish. All right. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come to, let's say, we'll say the download folder or whatever folder you have that has a PDF document. We're going to come there. And we'll just pick a, we'll say performance review. And we're gonna right click it. You're gonna find that PDF and you're gonna right click it. And then you're gonna come down here to open with, all right? When you right click it, you get this menu. You right click, you come over, you go down to open with, and then it opens up another side menu, okay? And you have some options to choose from. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and choose another app. Now watch what happens. Okay, so you get more a different kind of menu. In this case, it's, it's gonna say, how do you wanna open this file and keep using this app? So as you can see, Edge, and that's what your default browser is in Windows, uh, the browser that will open up your PDFs by default in Windows 10 when you, you just get the computer. So we're going to change that to Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. We're going to come down here. We're going to highlight it. And then down here, you're going to see always use this app to open up PDF files. And we're going to click that, put a little checkbox in there. All right. And then we're going to hit OK. And as you can see here, it now opened up, it's opening up the performance review document. Okay. That you can now fill out and now you saw the first half of the video and you know exactly what to do as far as putting your signature in. So I hope this helped. This showed you how to download, how to go right click on a PDF, go down to open with, then you can go down and get a side menu and you go down to choose other and then you can choose and then save it to always open with Adobe Acrobat 
Reader DC. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up, thumbs down. My feelings won't be hurt. And uh, subscribe to the channel because uh, we have a lot of great content at the channel to help everybody with everything from Office 365 to doing signatures like this and Adobe's uh, WebEx, you name it, we're, we're trying to do it. So uh, in that way, you'll always get a notification when a new video comes out. So I want to say thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you.